Hello, hello, lads and girls. This is Lord Kicker, and welcome back to another episode of Genshin Impact. And damn, these guys are rude. Okay, let's teleport over here. Okay, let go. We need to rest up a bit, and there we go. Okay, I think we should be able to soar to the place we need to go. I can't see, like, nothing. It's like a huge fog. Oh, we are gonna start to freeze here soon, though. All right, made it. I imagine you must have encountered more than a few conundrums during your travels. I'd like to observe your intelligence by means of a practical test of your capabilities, much as we did for the physical test. No problem. Wouldn't a written test suffice? Uh, no problem. I'd like you to explore these ruins and return with your findings. There are two puzzles located at the far ends of the ruins. After completion, you should be able to activate the mechanism in the center. As with the physical test, there are no restrictions. Everything you do is an action I wish to observe. I'm getting good at this. Where there's a will, there's a way. Remember that this is a test of intellect. So should you get lucky in any way, that won't be factored in as part of the test. So, let's see you in action. Start wherever you like. Alright. Hmm. Sealy like these are a common sight in the mountains. Returning them to their rightful places is up to you. Well, I do see those spirits over here. It's a complex environment, so proceed with caution. Okay. What about you then? Ah, challenge complete. Okay, now then, there is this one.
Hmm. Hmm, there must be something to activate this one. I guess it has something to do with these. You just need to figure out what. Puzzles ain't really my strong suit though. Hey there. Okay, come on. We can do it. We can do it. Okay. There we go, that's one. Which means we need to find the other one. Ah, right over there. Okay, this ain't working. Uh, okay, I need to hurry back because I'm freezing to death. There we go. Perfect. OK, 
Okay, awesome. Okay, um, spirit is right over there now. Okay, it should got it. Be possible to activate the central mechanism. Exactly what will happen when you do is something I'm looking forward to finding out. All right, let's. that the water level has suddenly decreased we should be able to see what's in the water now let's have a look all right oh there's some ancient text what's this unfamiliar patterns i feel like i've seen those before to the best of my knowledge these belong to a script of some kind. They can be found all over Tevat, but they've never given up their secrets. There's still a lot to learn about them. And as for why they should ever have come to rest here, a true mystery. Let me make a copy first. I'll make time to go over them in greater detail after our research. <sighs> Another thing for the don't understand list. Unsolvable mystery this, Weird experiment that. It'd be nice to get some cool results for once. Seems like if you want the reward, you gotta pay the price. I've truly gained a lot from all this. Comparatively, the little reward I can offer is too small to mention. Let me return to the campsite first. By the time you get back, I may just have a fleeting miracle for you to witness. See you soon. I take it, I pass the intelligence test. Paimon's kind of looking forward to seeing the result of all this brain ache. Unless you can think of anything better to do, let's head back to the campsite. Not so fast. You're not leaving until I'm convinced that nothing dangerous is going on here. <laughs> Rosaria? Oh, you didn't leave the mountain? I most certainly did not. And I've witnessed everything that you and Albedo have been up to. I must say... You let your guards down. Or maybe you were drawn in by his compelling sounding hypothesis and friendly demeanor. What do you mean? Yes, ulterior motives. Taking orders from a complete stranger, drinking anonymous potions, participating in all kinds of strange experiments. I'd sooner believe you were tricked than that you would be so naive. Or perhaps. You were colluding from the beginning. Sister Rosaria's guard's so high, she can't even see over the top of it. I was just helping him with his research. I don't think he's a bad person. Just helping him. It doesn't matter what you think. He could be a saint for all you know. But I understand him a little better than you, Outlander. I'm only concerned with one thing. Whether his alchemy has transformed you into something more sinister. No way! Would have sensed it. And anyway, he didn't even use any alchemy. With an alchemist of his level, you wouldn't sense a thing. In any case, I'm not about to let a potential threat back into Mondstadt. So, what are you gonna do? You came here to be sure. So you must have your ways of assuring yourself. <laughs> I've gotta hand it to you. You have your moments. If I can be sure that nothing you came into contact with is dangerous, that's good enough for me. I've investigated everything else. The only items left on the agenda are these symbols. But we don't even know what they mean. Hmm. That much is true. Not to mention, seems like there's nothing more to them. But for insurance purposes, I'd better make a copy. Hmm. 
This is now a location of interest. Regular patrols should be set up here. Now then, all things considered, I deem that you pose no immediate threat. Which is what I was hoping. I would have been one very unhappy sister if you'd made me work overtime on your account. Sorry. Before we go our separate ways, Outlander, a word of advice. Don't be so quick to trust Albedo. And don't repeat the same mistakes that you did this time. You made a lot of rash decisions today. She's gone! So stubborn. Mondstadt doesn't have many people like that. Maybe she just lack security. Maybe she's just sensitive. Hmm. Lack security? Okay. Guess we could head out of here now. Alright, well. I guess let's go in the... See him. So this seems to be our closest spot. Oh, here's the pine cone. All right, so let's hear it. What's the good word? You're back. Good timing. I've just about reached the conclusion. You took quite a while. Did you get held up on the way back? Not really. Quite literally by sister, no less. By a sister, no less. Uh, I wouldn't worry. She's just doing her job. Time for the results. We got a myriad of data today, and it was very difficult to finish all the research in one go. But the integral preliminary conclusion that I can offer you is... You're very much like a human from this world. That's it? <laughs> you couldn't tell that just by looking? We spent all day working our butts off for this? Please, I understand that this may have seemed self-evident to you, but in fact... Nothing in this world should be taken for granted. Have you ever considered that the world of Tevat may have a natural hostility to outlanders? Only the gods would know. Perhaps? I mentioned the natural laws of this world. You're able to converse with me here without consequence, and nothing seems amiss. But it's arguably a small miracle. The only other life form that, like you, has come here from afar is the seed that I mentioned. Under the effects of Tavat's natural laws, it isn't even able to sprout, let alone bloom. But, after I observed you, I had another idea. Imitating you helped to inspire my alchemy. And so... Whoa! It looks like something's appearing! That is cool. The transition from nothing into something, from shoot to stem. And now to fruition. Is not nurturing otherworldly life also nurturing the world itself? Aww. It was beautiful. It was so short-lived. It was beautiful. <sighs> it would seem that that's as far as we go. A transient bloom of incomparable beauty. Life's proudest achievement. Paimon thought with all our efforts... It might have bloomed forever, and it didn't even have any fruit. Life is a manifold tapestry of free entities. Its value shouldn't derive from how long it stays with us. Even a momentary burst is precious. A short life can be well lived. A life lived efficiently, lived to perfection, is necessarily one unburdened by loneliness. So... Do you understand what I meant about us conversing here arguably being a small miracle? Well, I haven't withered just yet. I wonder how my sister is. Uh, things feel a little heavy right now. <laughs> Don't be sad. You've got Paimon to look after you. 
Albedo, Paimon really wants to be your friend. Thank you both. Even if dispelling loneliness is not essential for life, it certainly doesn't hurt. Your help inspired me to discover the means to make a flower bloom. So, I'm a helpful specimen? I mean that the time I've spent traveling with you in the mountains was a valuable journey for me. In the future, if the need arises, can I solicit your help again? Sure. Even if you just want some company. Find me anytime. Well, glad I can count on you. Yeah, I don't really mind. I made a point throughout of telling him how ordinary the results were. But what was that sediment I saw forming at the bottom of the vial? It should not have been there. What could it mean? Those born of earth are bound by its imperfections. But those born of chalk are free of impurities. You and I are alike. Both composed of a substance that has yet to be fully defined. If, one day, I lose control. Destroy Mondstadt. Destroy everything. Can I rely on you to stop me? That's a weird thing to say. Hey, let's go see Timaeus. Paimon has a favor to ask him. It'd be great if we could catch Sucrose and Albedo too. But they seem really busy lately, so let's not get our hopes up. Anyway, let's go see. Okay, well, I am going to end off this episode here, though. I do hope you have enjoyed it, and I hope to see y'all in the next one. Until then, bye-bye.